Welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. How are you doing? No, it's always fun. It's always a pleasure. Thank you guys for having me. Okay. I want to chat about this this weekend. Number one, have you recovered from the celebrations? Because um, I have a feeling you guys maybe maybe went hard on, on Saturday night <laughs> after, after that victory. You know what? It was actually, for us, it was actually pretty quiet because we've got the game so close now. Um, there was a little bit of celebration, but it was it was a lot tamer than usual. I, I feel like tame for a Scotsman <laughs> is probably yeah, yeah. much more intense yeah. for me. You know, I'm, I'm not too sure. Well, I know you're you're a tequila drinker, right? Yeah, tequila, scotch, I'm, I'm not picky. No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that I like. I like this guy. Exactly. Well, okay, we, we saw the, the very cool moment at the end of the game when you guys had already won, but you were watching on the big screen the San Jose match to, to actually confirm that you guys had made it into the playoffs. Can you just kind of describe what the emotions were like for the team sharing that moment with the fans at, at Children's Mercy Park? What was it like? Yeah, I mean, so we didn't know any any of the results um so none of the guys on the field would have known um and then when they they added the stoppage time i was i said to one of the guys behind me i was like i have to know so i knew <laughs> the other results so i knew i was waiting and the team was waiting for that one um to get the home game so that's why it was that's why it was it was fun just getting to watch it on the screen all the fans were still there um, and obviously the the final whistle going and and realizing you know, after the season we've had, everything we've went through, that we actually get a game at home to get ourselves into the the next round of the playoffs was was massive. Well, Johnny F. Russell, Jimmy Conrad here. <laughs> Great to see you as always. Uh, talk to me about the season overall, because after 10 games, there's a pretty famous interview of you going, I don't really know what, we, what we're going to do. How are we going to dig ourselves out of it? But you found a way. You stayed calm I think is really the most impressive and didn't get too rattled and found your way into the playoffs now and I actually think you're going to go into the playoffs with a lot of momentum how what what changed was there any significant moment like what what was the difference um yeah we went to the people spoke about it we went to the owner's ranch um the week before the Seattle game and had a bit of a team get together a bit of a blowout and you know we just a lot of things were said a lot of things that probably had to be said. Um, I spoke to the team and then everyone was given a platform to speak. You know, every every guy that was there, no matter how small they felt their role was, um, we wanted to hear everyone see what they thought we could be doing better, what they thought was the issue. Um, and we ended up speaking for hours. So you'll hear a lot of guys relate back to that, but. I mean, even, even before that, we were doing all the same things. We were doing all the right things leading into games, and then we would get to games, and for whatever reason, we weren't performing as a team individually. None of us at that point could say that we were anywhere near what we should be. So that was where the frustration and those comments came. And then from there nothing changes <laughs> it's just a, a crazy sport we, we haven't changed anything um, we continue to prepare the same way we do the same things leading into games and for whatever reason it just changed that Seattle game I think everyone seen that the fight was still there I think a lot of teams in our position would have would have given up um, but it's, you guys know the people that are here this club that's that's not an option here so I'm glad for everyone's hard work and the way we've turned the season around that we finally get the, the reward that we've deserved after those 10 games. Johnny, before I ask my question, I want you to know that in a couple of segments ago, Jimmy Conrad said you had the best left foot in the league. Mind you, Lionel Messi. I forgot Leo Messi joined. <laughs> I'm sorry, Johnny. You put a lot of pressure you guys on you. You should have played in this league. Jimmy, Jesus. <laughs> well, well, I, I, then I caught myself and I said, Leo Messi does play in the league now. So, yes. Yeah. But, Messi, but, Bella, there's just two off the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, Johnny, though, uh, listen, two goals on decision day, where does that rank amongst your best SKC moments in your career? Probably it's definitely up at the very top. Just where, like you said, the way the season went, um, how important that game was, uh, how big a, a moment it was for us as a team. I mean, not... Not the best of goals to look at, but um, 
in terms of meaning, then they're definitely definitely up there for me. Um, it's scoring a goal, anyways, is a huge feeling. But when you score it and that kind of a fashion and that kind of game, then it's, it's always the big games that you want to step up. And you know, gladly and luckily, I, I was able to do that for my team. But I thought, especially first half, I thought we we were so good as a team. Um, second half was made very difficult for us, but we showed another side to our game and ground out the result as well. So a, a lot of pleasing things um, on Saturday night. Johnny, I feel like I need to buy stock at Iron Brew. You're doing well. You're, you're scoring a brace to get your team in the playoffs. And also your country doing incredibly well, qualifying for the Euros. Talk a little bit about that, what that's like. I know you scored for them. You've played for the, Nash, the, the Scottish national team. What's this been like watching them? It's been, it's been incredible. Obviously, you know, a lot of those guys are really good friends of mine. So it's, you could see it coming. Um, you know, the, the sort of influx of talent we've got now in Scotland, it's, it was only a matter of time before we started piecing it together. And, you know, those, those guys have, have been killing it. You look at our group as well, a lot of people wouldn't have us, you know, getting out that group. So the fact that they've done it, the way they've done it, beating Spain at home as well, um, you know, beating Norway away, massive results so no I'm, I'm delighted for them I spoke to I spoke to a lot of them um, you know speaking of parties there would have been there would have been a big one for those boys and then I had to go and play France after it so that wouldn't have been ideal <laughs> I do want to know though can you text Scott McTominay tell him we we would appreciate him in MLS you know what I mean we'd let him play a little bit more forward that is I mean his goal goal scoring form recently is club and country has been Outrageous. So I'll, I'll drop him a text. I think uh, <laughs> I think man, you're going to want to hold on to him for a little while longer now. The way he's playing, but uh, I'll surely drop him a text. Nice. Well, Johnny, looking forward to the play-in game against the San Jose Earthquakes. You played against the Quakes in late August and won 3-0 at home. You scored in that game. How do you feel going into this, knowing that they're obviously going to have some momentum getting into the playoffs as well? I mean, we have to go into it confident. Um, you know, we're coming off the back of, you know, a good run of results. Um, but we know that they're a dangerous side as well. So it's not as if we're, we're looking past them. Uh, you know, everyone's in this position for a reason. Um, they've they've got themselves the results. And they're going to be a dangerous side. They always are. We, we seem to play them a lot around this time of year, um, especially since I've been here. So we know it's, it's, a, it's a different game. Um, but we know how difficult it's going to be, the threats that they've got. So we have to be at our very best, but it, it, it feels better knowing that we have the game at home rather than obviously having to travel there to play it. Johnny, with the most Scottish slang before we let you go, <laughs> you need to answer in the most Scottish way possible. If Wait, hold on, and you can't swear, okay? We know, <laughs> we know how they do it in Scotland. <laughs> if, if, if SKC wins MLS Cup, how would you celebrate? I don't know if I'd stop celebrating. You maybe wouldn't see me next year. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It would be... That would be... He wants to be swear. A definite bender. Um, a lot of scotch and tequila, I think. think. Would, definitely would be going missing uh, for a while. But it's... No, that's, that's the aim. That's the aim every season. Um, that's, I feel like that's the one thing that's missing since... I've been here as, as a trophy, um, so there's a long, long way to go, but I best believe if we do win it, uh, you might not see me all that trophy again. <laughs> a couple munch boxes for the it, team. I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> That'd be a well-deserved party. Uh, Johnny Russell, always a pleasure to catch up with you. I just want to tell you, too, you have been seriously probably my favorite player in Major League Soccer since you've joined oh, the league and you. it has been it's been such a joy to watch you play and uh, best of luck in the playoffs can't watch wait to watch you do your thing thank you so much I appreciate that all right guys